Hello, my beautiful Cancerians. How are you today? We are here with the Everyday Witches Tarot and the Light Seekers Tarot to bring you messages of love for your love life. Let's look at the overall energy for you. I want to thank everyone who has supported me on this channel. It has been a very long year of joyfulness and getting to know all of you. And I want to thank you for subscribing. You've just been so great to me, so loyal, so sweet, so kind, loving, really looking out for me with all those thumbs up and, you know, the shares and the beautiful comments. So let's look and see and welcome all new visitors. Thank you so much for stopping by. Intuition, you already know the answer you seek, okay? So let's see what else we have, my beautiful Cancerians. I have four planets in Cancer. <laughs> I can relate well. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. All right. And a third message, the love, this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. All right. So let's see what's going on between you and your mate. You're a partner in love. All right. So we're looking at mutual energy. When we look at the nine card spread, it's going to be mutual energy in the recent past is going to be the first card out of the deck. And we have the Sun card. Leo, energy, the happiest card in the entire tarot deck. Very critical and very important to success long-term in relationship. All right, so let's see what the current mutual energy is with you and your lover. The Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. That is hopes and dreams. That's like the fairy godfather, the fairy godmother allowing you to have what you want in terms of happiness in this relationship. One more cup and you have happily ever after. The nine of cups is not to be minimized. When we look at cups, the more cups, the more love, quote unquote, except when we're looking at the ace of cups and the two of cups. You know, there's a lot of love in those cards and it's the beginning of long-term love. All right, let's see how your person views the situation with you in this love relationship. Well, they feel very surprised and shocked. <laughs> I'm going to say that's the card of surprise and shock. Uh, and I get an offer coming in. So there's something about this relationship that has shocked your partner. Now, the Tower card can be a very good card of surprise. It can be shattering old paradigms of happiness or what you think you need. So we're going to look at that because that Tower card is neutral until we really check out um, what it means and the cards around it. So we'll do that with clarifying, okay? How does your person view you, Cancer? Your person views you. These cards came out sideways. Okay, as messy. <laughs> Page of Cups, very loving but messy. And the Death card, very pessimistic. I've never had two cards come out sideways. And then there's a third one here. And it is the, uh, the Knight of Swords. So they feel as though you've been very outspoken. I feel as though somehow you shattered their happiness or their feeling of confidence in the relationship by being upset about something that didn't go well. Now, it looks as though you had every right to, you know, it looks as though if they were this very messy, immature page uh, and that you might have, you know, they might have said something to you, Cancer, but it really looks like right now you are, phew, you are not into this situation at all. All right, so how does your person feel in their heart space for you? All that happiness, look at that. Oh, they want reconciliation. Temperance is the number one card of trying to reconcile after a fight. Six of Pentacles, they want equal give and take. Page of Swords, they have an opinion of their own and they want to tell you. So right now, Temperance card is beautiful. It's Sagittarius energy. It indicates that this person has deep caring and really wants the two of you to come together happily in relationship. The Six of Pentacles is an investment. You know, when we look at the Six of Pentacles, this person is still highly invested in the relationship. How do they view the situation as it is unfolding at this time? How did your person view the situation as it's unfolding at this time? The Moon card, okay. Uh, really, that's a smoky trail, as uh, Ramblin' Mike says. You know, he always talks about the moon card as a smoky trail. Please go over and visit Ramblin' Mike. He is a great tarot reader. He's here on YouTube. 
Uh, I will put the link below to his uh, his page, but I love the moon card and basically it shows that your person's confused, they don't really know what's going on, and they feel, you know, sort of very vulnerable with you. So let's see what's hidden in the mutual energy. Let's see. We have the Wheel of Fortune, beautiful Jupiterian energy, a Sagittarius energy, Jupiter rules Sagittarius. So now we have two cards. So, you know, I'm seeing Cancer that you want to, you want to, you're hoping for a good outcome for the situation. Okay, so what else here? What is the advice of spirit? Make a head over heart decision. Be logical, be balanced, be fair and balanced, okay? So let's see what is the outcome if you follow the advice of spirit and being logical and having good communication three of cups oh beautiful return to a, a state of bliss happiness that's your best friend it's like you know really getting back on track so what we're seeing here is that we're going to look and see if you have some healing of old wounds to do cancer okay so let's take a look or if your other your person does okay so we're going to go ahead and clarify the cards i will also use the halloween oracle if we need it and uh, more oracle cards if we need them to figure this out all right so the nine of cups look at this the nine of cups is <laughs> it's like oh i'm lonely without you you are lonely without each other and then we have the eight of cups so when you're apart both of you suffer you know and it looks like again we're getting this energy here when we get the eight of cups this person actually looks like they're mad because they're alone but this is your energy together you have a tendency to fight when you're not together <laughs> all right that's a challenge because you're so happy together that we have the nine of cups twice now in both of these car you know in both of these instances you're alone so when you're alone and thinking about the relationship it's like well i want to leave this happiness to go and find this happiness again so it's it's really interesting we also have the seven of swords here um it really indicates that the two of you may not have told each other much there, it looks like there are some secrets. There's a feeling that, you know, this relationship is so powerful that you could give up a part of your soul to have it. Ooh, I've never said that in a, in a reading before, but the, a level of the possibility for happiness here is so amazing. We have the Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. So your person views the situation as something that they're going to need to address, okay? What is the Tower Moment? Please tell us, Spirit, what this Tower Moment was. What is this Tower Moment? Because there is so much love here. It's bouncing, but it's very emotional. It's cups, okay? What is the Tower card here for our beautiful Cancerians? Page of Pentacles, again, clarifying the, well, clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. That always looks like a page to me in this deck. Okay, so we have a Page of Wands, an Ace of Pentacles, and a Page of Pentacles. So there may be an age difference. Your person is studying the situation. Let's see what else about the Tower card coming here. Coming down the Ace of Wands, it came down very rapidly. It may have been something that was dated in terms of being super i the ace of wands is about passion ace of wands so what may have happened here is your person may have pushed an agenda of um being physical with you without really giving any stability or without knowing you very long you may just have met you could have met you know through friends through family you, but it does not look like this is a highly established relationship. This looks like a joyful, happy relationship in which nobody really wants to mess it up, but it does appear to struggle. Now, why else is a tower card here? The devil card, okay. So what I'm seeing is it looks as though your partner said something really stupid, <laughs> like, oh, you know, like you could be out at a bar and 
you know, maybe your partner is like looking at somebody, somebody who's walking by who has something, they're wearing something that, you know, maybe a super tight outfit or something. I'm getting that your person probably after having had a little bit too much to drink, probably said something about someone being attractive or you may have even asked them or provoked them into saying, do you think that person's attractive? And, but it does look like this is sort of a, a, a tendency to be a jealous sort of a fight here. And it came down suddenly. It looks as though, you know, we also get third parties. So again, I feel as though somebody made a comment that was very casual about another person and it was totally inappropriate. It was childish. And I feel like cancer, you just blew your top. I mean, you're like, are you kidding me? You would say that with me here. But let's look and see what, what's a clarifier for how cancer feels with the death card. The high priestess says that you've had a chance to think this through. You feel a little calmer. You feel as though this person didn't really mean to hurt you. Um, but, you know, you're thinking that whatever they did or said was immature. You want them to be mature and stable with you. You don't want them to be messy. If they are, you've cut them off. And you've certainly told the person in that moment how you felt. And that brought the tower card down. So what I'm getting here is the six of swords. The two of you do move away. You know, it does show that um, you have the wisdom. This is beautiful energy. When we get this beautiful, this is Cancerian energy. When we have the high priestess, you have the wisdom. We have the Cancerian queen. So Cancer, here you are. You are looking at the situation in a very logical manner, very reliable Virgo energy, being very practical, and you do know how to move it forward. So it, it looks as though you're able to do or say something that really helps this person understand that you know, offhand comments, <laughs> the page of swords can be snarky, the page of swords can cause trouble, and that trying to make a lover jealous is not a good idea. But you have a guardian angel. This person's not, I just think they're inexperienced. Whenever I get this page of cups and I get it only in this card, I just get somebody who is, you know, they're, they're childlike, you know, they're here painting, splashing paint all over the whole situation, making a big mess emotionally of things. Okay, why did your person want this to go well for the two of you? The namaste card. Yeah, namaste. I'm going to stay here in this relationship. I want to be here. They see you as just absolutely gorgeous. You're this very sort of powerhouse nine of pentacles single woman energy that really has their act together. You're somebody who, you know, could give and take equally with them in the relationship. You have a lot to give. They really recognize that. They think you're a rock star, beautiful energy, healing energy, maturing energy, spiritual, Aquarius, enlightened energy. Why is this page of swords here? Oh, goodness, wheel of fortune. Well, your person probably has a job in which they're, they examine something or they look at something or they it's their job to draw conclusions. And, you know, this is not the environment to draw any conclusions or make bold statements. And it looks as though they did. And usually it goes well for them. So, for instance, if this person is uh, has to look at grading other people or they're a teacher, you know, they do something where they're sort of in judgment but it looks like they're very well intentioned here. This person really is a good person. And you are, you have the lover's card here being a divine protection. You have this beautiful angel here. So what I'm seeing cancer is a lot of emotion, uh, uh, something that was said out of turn that was probably not the smartest thing to say. Why do we have the devil card here in this situation? Ah, the sun card. Okay, I like that. If I have to clarify that devil card, I'm getting that somebody was having a lot of fun and they just made a thoughtless comment that they really had no ill intention with, the three of cups, as friends. They spoke to you as a friend instead of a lover in a situation where they should have treated you only as a lover. You were having so much fun that this person, you know, having a little bit too much to drink here, <laughs> let their tongue slip in a major way and it fell on the ice, so to speak. All right, the moon card. What do we have for the moon card? How safe is this moon card for you, Cancer? In terms of your person, 
How safe is the moon card? Does it allow you to be in this relationship? You have to be careful. I would say that this is not a relationship you should rush at all. You have a sense of that because you're the high priestess and you absolutely know that this person has some, there could be an age difference here. Okay, there really could be. Um, but it does show that you know that you need to go slow and steadily with this person. They have the ability to be, to get themselves in financial trouble too. And this is a person who, you know, is not necessarily financially stable. On the other hand, I don't want to throw shade at all. This person may have lost their job and it certainly may not be their fault. Okay. So let's see what else. Why is the moon card here for your relationship? A new beginning. Okay. So the moon card says that you can have a new beginning, but you're going to, you're both going to have to share emotions. Is that the advice of spirit? Yes. Let go of the burdens, share emotions, do it responsibly and let go of it. What I'm seeing here, cancers, it's very important for you to let go of anything this person says in which they're just revealing their feelings. You can't take the burden of it on. You don't want to be in a codependent situation. So if they say something and you don't like it, uh, it does look like you'll be able to be very balanced in judging it and not taking it too seriously. The Ace of Cups says that this person loves you. This person will tell you that they love you and that, you know, they're, they're really, you are in their heart space. They're certainly not going to let go of you. They're going to hold on tightly. So you will be sort of the boss of the relationship. All right. So let's see why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for our beautiful Cancerians with this relationship? Put this right up here so you can see it better. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here at this time? What does this mean? This is mutual energy that you and your person are bringing. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. That is a card of legacy and wealth and abundance and family and everything beautiful. It is Virgo energy. It's all about doing the work and both of you are very, you are both very capable of doing the work beautiful energy. This fell out. I always like the random spill because it tells us we saw that your person is capable of being very logical. Um, and that means that both of you are, are capable of a good apology and you're both capable of staying logical and fair minded. Beautiful. Wow. So it shows, this shows me that you have all the tools and you are soulmates. So, you know, soulmate relationships, again, we have to learn something. Part of the purpose of having a soulmate is to learn something that we need to in this lifetime and to repeat possibly a relationship with another person. So we have the Libra Queen here twice, Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords. And the advice for this Queen of Swords energy is coming up as this card that flipped over. Um, you know, stay cool, calm, and collected. You are building abundance with this person. The King of Pentacles is beautiful energy. It speaks to stability and nurturing and kindness and love and the ability to have an abundant life together. Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles, off the charts, possibilities. The Three of Cups, what is the outcome? It shows that you would like to marry your best friend. Both of you feel that way. And here we go, Ten of Cups twice. Okay, so we have the Legacy Marriage card, the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. I mean, excuse me, we have so many cups here. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups, which is temporarily leaving. The Nine of Cups twice. This is your happy place. Um, you know, when we get the Ten of Cups, that's happily ever after. Mar two marriage cards right here. Stability, a possible engagement. You will know each other a long time. I think that you will date each other a long time. And the two of you have some things that you'll work on. But, you know, they're all normal. I mean, it really shows that you have the ability to go the distance. This is absolutely the best love reading I've done for this week. Cancer, good luck. Thanks so much. Leave some comments. Tell me how it's going. Take care, Cancer. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.